Hello everyone. Today we will have mathematics lesson with me, Angel Teacher. Unit 1B Geometry. Shapes. There are two dimensional shapes and three dimensional shapes. We will begin with two dimensional shapes first. First, rectangle. Rectangle has four sides and four angles. Sides and angles. Both pairs of opposite sides are equal in length. These sides and these sides are equal in length. These sides and these sides are also equal in length. Square. Square has four sides. All the four sides are equal in length. They are equal in length. Square has also four angles. Triangle. Triangle has three sides and three angles. One, two, Three. One, two, three. Circle. A circle has one side only and no angles. Pentagon. Pentagon has five sides and five angles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon. Hexagon has six sides and six angles. One, two, three, four, five, Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, these are three dimensional shapes. Cube. Cube has six sides and eight corners. The sides of the cubes are its faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the sides of a cube. And the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cube has twelve edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. This is a cuboid. A cuboid has six sides, 12 edges, and eight corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the edges. One pair of the opposite sides are squares and two pairs of the opposite sides are rectangles. Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism has six sides, 12 edges, and eight corners. Three pairs of all the opposite sides are rectangles. That is the difference between rectangular prism and cuboid. Rectangular prism has no square sides in it. Triangular prism. Triangular prism has five sides, nine edges, and six corners. One, two, three, four, five sides. One, two, three, four, five, six corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges. One pair of opposite sides are triangles. Cylinder. Cylinder has three faces, two edges and no corners. The two faces of a cylinder are circle and one faces is a rectangle. These are the edges. Sphere. Sphere has one side, no edges, and no corners. Pyramid and prism. Prism is three-dimensional shapes with flat sides. It has two sides that are the same shapes and size. Pyramid is also a three-dimensional shape. It has flat base and triangular sides that join at a common point called the apex. This is a pyramid. It has flat base and an apex. This is a prism. It has two sides that are the same shapes and size. Symmetry. 
symmetry is when an object looks the exact same on side as the other. One half is a mirror reflection of the other. Look at this line here. This is called the line of symmetry. Look at the picture on the left. These pictures are symmetry. The left side are exactly the same of the right side. Asymmetry is when an object does not look the exact same on side as the other. One half is not a mirrored reflection of the other. This is an example of asymmetrical object. When you divide the object into two, the image on the left side is not the mirror image on the right side. Roots. There are some vocabulary to learn at this section. Clockwise. Clockwise is movement in the direction in which the hands of a clock turn. So this is a clockwise movement. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is the movement in the direction opposite to clockwise. So this is anti-clockwise. Compass. Compass is an equipment that indicates direction in terms of north, south, east, and west. The letter N, S, E, and W on the compass means the directions north, south, east, and west. Full term. Full term means turning once in a circle, 360 degree. This is a full term. Half turn. Half turn means turning half a circle 180 degree. This is a half turn. Quarter turn. Quarter turn means turning by a right angle 90 degree. This is a quarter turn. Can you find the root on this map? Let's see. This is where you live. How do you go to the toy shop? Walk to the north. Make a quarter turn to the west. And the toy shop is on your right. Now, how do you go to the theater from the toy shop? This is your starting point. Go to the west, make a quarter turn, and go to the south. The theater is over here. How do you go to the school from the theater? Make this your starting point. Go to the south. Make a quarter turn to the east. And the school is over here.